Hi students, here are some reminders before we start our online class. Do not forget to write your solution. Fill in the student information box of your notebook. And do not forget to leave a comment after watching our online class video. Thank you very much. Keep learning and be safe. Hi everyone, today is Monday. It's the eighth week of our online class. I'm teacher Darni and today we are going to have our final discussion about fractions. So for the past months, for the past weeks, we learned about how to order fraction, how to compare fraction, as well as how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide fractions. And for the past weeks, we also learned about how to do word or how to solve word problem in fraction. So today we are going to have our final discussion and today we are going to talk about word problems in fractions using all of those four operations. Okay, so before that, of course, our objectives for today is for you to be able to answer word problems in fraction involving addition subtraction, multiplication, and division. And of course, at the end of this video, you need to answer activity number 17. Okay, and before we continue, our vocabulary is still the same. So we have four words. The first word is question. Again, question. The second word, we have information. Again, information. The third word, we have keyword. Again, keyword. And the last word, we have solution. Again, solution. So you already knew those words and we've been using those words for the past uh, weeks now. So now let's have a quick review again of our four stages on how to solve word problem. Again, there are many ways on how to answer a word problem, but let's just follow the four stages that is also written or that is being used in your book. Now, the first stage is we have we understand. Under we understand, we have question and given information. So here you write the question that we are going to answer and of course the information that could help us answer the word problem okay next we have we plan again we plan here we are going to write the keyword and the mathematical operation keyword meaning words that would help us identify how to answer or identify the operation that we are going to use in our word problem. Of course, mathematical operation, we have four. We have addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, next, the third one we have, we solve. Of course, here we are going to write our number sentence and we're going to answer the question or we are going to show our solution. Okay. And the last stage we have, we check. Here we are going to check whether our answer is right or wrong, but most of the time we are going to skip that one and we'll just write our answer directly. Take note that your answer must be a complete sentence. Okay, so now we are going to discuss uh, activity number 17. Okay, so we have four word problems 
in activity number 17. Take note, you have to write your solution on your paper. And by the way, as uh, for activity number 17, just a quick reminder, please write your answer below um, under we saw, okay? And do not answer stage one, stage two, and stage three. Do not answer we understand, we uh, plan, but uh, you just write we solve here. I'm sorry, you're going to answer stage three, just answer we solve. You're going to write the number sentence, answer the question, and here below, you are going to write your answer. Okay, again, just answer we solve in activity number 17. Now, let's discuss first word problem number one. Okay, now it says here, Pool A is 2 and 3 over 4 meter long. It is 1 and 1 over 5 meter longer than pool B. What is the length of pool B? Okay, so we have here two pools. We have pool A and pool B. Now, if you are going to go back to the given information, it says that Pool A is 2 and 3 over 4 meter long. So that is the height of pool A. Now, if you're going to go back to the question, what is the length of pool B? Here, the question is how tall is pool B? Now, let's ask another information or given information. It says here that pool A is 1 and 1 over 5 meter longer than pool B. Okay, so pool B is shorter than pool A. Pool A is longer than 1 and 1 over 5 meters. So now, what is the length of pole B? Okay, so I think that is very, very easy. You're just going to solve that uh, based on the given information and the given um, representation here in word problem number one. Okay, now let's proceed to pole, I'm sorry, to word problem number two. So we have here, Titi Pong has two over five kilograms of rice. It is divided into four packets equally. How many kilograms does each packet of rice weigh? So again, we have here a person and that person has two over five kilogram of rice. So for example, we have here the rice. Of course, that is 2 over 5 kilogram. Now, it says that it is being divided into 4 packets equally. So, from the whole, of, for, from this uh, kilogram of rice, it is now divided into 4 packets equally. Okay. So, now the question is, how many kilogram does each packet of rice Wait, so one packet, how much does it weigh? Another packet, how much does it weigh? So each packet, how much does it weigh? Okay, so I think that is very, very, very easy. Next, now let's discuss word problem number three. Word problem number three says, that has 120 toy cars. Two over five of the toy cars are blue. How many blue cars or how many blue toy cars does he have? Okay, so Jet Sadakon has a lot of cars. He has 120 cars. So let's just assume that these cars, there are 120 car cars here. And it says that two 
over 5 of 120 toy cars are blue. So therefore, the question is, with all those 120 toy cars, how many of those are actually color blue? Okay, so how many toy cars are blue? So you could actually see the representation and the question like, I mean, the given information, 2 over 5 of 120 toy cars are blue. I think the, the keyword there is very obvious and the, the, the hint is already given there. 2 over 5 of 120. Okay, I think you, we already discussed the meaning of the word of. Okay, so again, how many blue cars does he have? Okay, next, let's now have word problem number four. Word problem number four says, Chigachaya has four over five of orange juice in a bottle. She drinks one half or one over two of it. How much orange juice does Jirachaya have left in the bottle? Okay, so again, Jirachaya has an orange juice. So if we're going to have a representation in, in one bottle, there is four over five orange juice. So we can have this representation, four over five. Now, Jirachaya drinks one over two or one half of it, okay? So she drinks one half of it. Now the question is, how much orange juice does Jirachaya have left in the bottle? So again, from four over five, he drinks one over two or one half of it. Now, how much left or how much orange juice was left in the bottle okay so that is word problem number four now again um answer you can now answer activity number 17 and again a reminder write your solution on the paper do not answer or do not write we understand and we plan you answer um we solve you write the number sentence you write your solution and then you write your answer at the bottom part of the box in each uh, word problem okay so i think that's it <laughs> that's it um this is that is uh, our activity number 17 and for our online consultation we are going to have it on wednesday around 9 40 in the morning maybe we could uh, change uh, a little uh, we can move it a little and um, but it's always around 9 40 or 9 30 in the morning we can have it online on google meet or zoom as uh, long as um, our connection is uh, good so that's it uh, again uh, today we uh, discuss the four word problems in your activity number 17 state note those are four operations. So it's either you're going to use addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Okay, so write your answer on your paper and do not forget to write your name, your number, and your section. Okay, so that's it. That's all about word problem in fractions using all operations. So please, if you have question, feel free to ask us, your teachers in our line group. So once again, that's all for today. And I hope you will able to finish your task on time. See you next time, everybody. I'm Teacher Darney. Have a nice day.